guys welcome to our channel chandra awesome in this today's video we will discuss about the the updates which we released in onship well you might already know if you are ever about the previous cast of quest i mean any other cast of quest you can ever about the textures feature that's like uh, you can uh, place the images on the faces of the part just like this so the same feature is released by the on shape with the name of uh, decal so what is the use of this decal just like the same as i mentioned about the textures so for the new on shape users it would be very helpful for making adding the images instead of you might already passionate about how to add the colors how to add the different types of text colors to our design well even if it's possible in the rendering some might not able to afford the rendering process rendering right so this will be very helpful for them so how to use this tool in this video i will show in thin very quickly okay so let's for example let's hide this part okay okay let's keep it like this okay let me delete this the case so this is a simple cylinder i have so you can found this tool under the transform tool okay this is the decal sell it and it will ask the image so i already imported the sign on shape image and it's asking the face on which face you want to add it so let's for example i want to add on the top so here see based on the image resolution the image is uh, already uh, cropped itself to the exact image and if you still want to change the position and the size of the image you can still use that here you can see the arrows right this is the position arrow so if you want to move uh, this direction or this direction or this direction okay you can simply change the direction like this it will move or else you can also use the shift which is like this in the tool pop window as well and you can also rotate by this one so how much angle how much degrees you want to go right now i want to do, want don't want to do any changes okay and this is the width <coughs> and you can also make instead change with the width or the height based on your interest you can also change it okay let's keep it as a default now and if you want to scale the image here there is the arrow at this in this at the top corner right so you can use it for scaling just like uh the transform tool that available in the sketch tools so so like that only you can use it you can use this feature okay you can maximize it how much is you want or else it will give the number of numeric values based on this also you can input and you can see the realign option you already know what is the realign just uh, if you don't want to keep this image like this so just change the position and realign like this but it's not possible here right because it's already showing the red mark quarter okay so based on that you can change the play button less under the operation we don't want this placement and horizontal reference just uh, you can also give the reference to it based on the reference it will the image will add okay so we can also give reference by either by using the make connectors you might already know how to use this the references the previous to explain in the videos okay so let's save it and here it is so and we don't want need to do any paint here the image itself cover the whole face and it will it will show like this and not only really this face you can also add many faces as for example even even in the curve surface as well let me do the another decay operation just sell the image again and now right now i'm going to sell this face and here you can see it's character but you can see it's not completed in that time you can simply you know what to do just enlarge the image if you enlarge the image it might cover or not it depends upon the image resolution so you have if you want you can if you want to add the whole cover the whole face you must assure about the image size as well then only it will be perfect for your design okay so as well uh, the on shape team explained that is it is basically used for adding the logos to your designs yeah it is, is useful and not only the useful for logos you can also draw uh, draw the images like this just like the face and by using the, this, the references you can also make make the shapes just like how we did in the previous 
using sketch drawings right so this will very this will be very useful and these uh, changes are also imported to the assembly don't worry let me show you how to do that let's for example here you can see uh, I add this is the assembly section you can observe that right here I add the is the skull image to the this f1 card model see and it is also imported let's uh, let's get into that one so you can clearly understand it okay f4 let's for example i'm going to sell the decay again let's select the what what place you want to sell it mm. for example here we don't have the big curves that places design okay let's for example let's copy this one okay uh, and uh, sell the images and sell this face but you can see it's not it's not that much good because it's not covering the whole face but uh, one thing can happen in case guys uh, you can only sell one face at a time you can't sell multiple faces and can apply the whole face textures okay so this is the use of it like this you can also change it and if you want to add multiple times just like this you can add sell the face see based on the faces of the size the image relation is automatically adjusted and you can also change by like this everything is on based on your interest only okay this is how you can add images to your design using decade tool so for example let's sell this face sell the images and you can also rotate so for example 90 degrees so minus 90 degrees and it's not coming the whole face so just scale it okay and you can also go friends <coughs> Based on the aspect ratio, you can select the detail tips. If you here, you can also change it. You can also uh, add the so this is called based on the reference also you can add it. Okay. And select it. The face is successfully added to the Oh, let's jump to the assembly and you can observe the changes here as well like this you can add textures to your designs simply and can import this into on shape and make your designs glow with your with this decade tool i hope this my this will be very helpful for the designers who want who are very interested in rendering types okay so that's all I was today's topic guys. If you really like it, please do like, share and subscribe our channel and thanks for watching.